Seed of a Woman, Virgin Birth Prophecy and Fulfillment The Bible is a remarkable book that weaves a tapestry of prophecies and their corresponding fulfillments, revealing God's divine plan for humanity. One of the profound prophecies is found in Genesis 3 verse 15, where God, after the fall of Adam and Eve, promises the arrival of a Redeemer who would be the seed of a woman. This prophecy reaches its fulfillment in the New Testament, as recorded in Galatians 4 verses 4 to 5 and Matthew 1 verse 18, with the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ, the long-awaited Messiah, who would come to redeem humanity through the virgin birth. Genesis 3 verse 15 The Prophecy In the book of Genesis, after Adam and Eve sinned against God, he pronounced judgments upon the serpent, representing Satan and humanity. In Genesis 3 verse 15, God addresses the serpent, declaring, And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. In this prophecy, God promises to send a future Redeemer who will be the seed of a woman. This phrase is significant because, in the natural order, a seed is associated with a man, but here God foretells a unique birth, a Redeemer who would be born of a woman alone. The prophecy also foreshadows the ultimate victory of the Redeemer over Satan, even though Satan would inflict temporary harm. Strike his heel on the Redeemer. Galatians 4 verses 4 to 5 The Fulfillment In the New Testament book of Galatians, the fulfillment of Genesis 3 verse 15 is revealed. Galatians 4 verses 4 to 5 proclaims, But when the set time had fully come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. This passage affirms that at the appointed time in history, God fulfilled his promise and sent his Son, Jesus Christ, into the world. The fulfillment of Genesis 3 verse 15 is actualized through the miraculous birth of Jesus, who was born of a woman, Mary. The virgin birth of Jesus stands as a profound testimony to his divinity, as he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit making him fully God and fully human. Matthew 1 verse 18 The Fulfillment The Gospel of Matthew provides another account of the fulfillment of Genesis 3 verse 15. In Matthew 1 verse 18, it is written, This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. This verse reveals the miraculous conception of Jesus by the Holy Spirit in the womb of Mary. Jesus' birth fulfills the prophecy in Genesis 3 verse 15, as he is indeed the seed of a woman who came to redeem humanity from sin and restore our relationship with God. Teachings and Day-to-Day Applications The prophecy in Genesis 3 verse 15 and its fulfillment in Galatians 4 verses 4 to 5 and Matthew 1 verse 18 carry profound teachings and applications for believers. The Divine Plan of Redemption The fulfillment showcases God's divine plan to redeem humanity from the consequences of sin through the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. The Incarnation The fulfillment underscores the profound mystery of the Incarnation, the Word becoming flesh. Jesus took on human form to identify with humanity and bring salvation. The Virgin Birth The fulfillment highlights the significance of the Virgin Birth as a sign of Jesus' divine nature, validating his identity as the promised Messiah. God's Perfect Timing The fulfillment emphasizes God's perfect timing in bringing about the birth of Jesus at the appointed moment in history. Salvation and Adoption The fulfillment proclaims the redemptive work of Jesus Christ offering salvation and adoption as children of God to all who believe in Him. In day-to-day life, the understanding of this prophecy and its fulfillment fills believers with awe and gratitude for God's divine plan of salvation. It calls us to embrace the gift of redemption through faith in Jesus Christ, who came to be the seed of a woman and provide reconciliation between God and humanity. Moreover, it encourages us to share the message of Jesus' birth and redemptive work with others, that they too may experience the joy and hope found in knowing the Savior. Conclusion The prophecy in Genesis 3 verse 15, foretelling the coming of a Redeemer who would be the seed of a woman, finds its ultimate fulfillment in the New Testament, as revealed in Galatians 4 verses 4 to 5 and Matthew 1 verse 18. This remarkable fulfillment marks the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ, the long-awaited Messiah and Savior 
who came to redeem humanity and restore our relationship with God. As believers, we rejoice in the fulfillment of this prophecy, finding hope, salvation, and eternal life in the person and work of Jesus Christ. May we continually marvel at the mystery of the virgin birth, live in the truth of God's promises, and share the good news of Jesus' birth and redemptive work with the world, that all may come to know the Savior who came to save and transform lives.